Yeah, uh, our topic today is physical properties of matter. Yeah, yeah, physical properties of matter. Definition: Physical properties can be observed or measured without changing the composition of matter. Physical properties are used to observe and describe matter. Okay. What are physical properties? Physical properties include appearance, texture, color, odor, melting point, boiling point, density, solubility, polarity, and many others. Yeah, we call that physical properties. Yeah. Okay, go. Number one. Okay, the to the object, bricks or rock. Observable properties. Limit the answer in three words only. Okay. Can you tell me what is the physical properties for bricks or rock? Can you get that? Okay. Physical properties, appearance, texture, color, other, melting point, boiling point, density, solubility, polarity, and many others. Just check, please. Just take uh, the physical properties. As you know, as you know on the screen, just write on your table. So for brick or rocks, what is observable properties? Solid, hard. What? Solid, hard. Okay, good. Just right there. Solid. You can write that solid, right? Solid. Mm -hmm. What else? Hard. What else? Hmm? Dark colors. Ah, dark colors. Not, but not all, not all, not all rough, right? Okay, that's yeah. it. Dark color, that's okay. What else? Density, more than one. Is that right? Uh, Density more than one, right? Because uh, density of rock is more than one, more than water. Okay, so uh, that is uh, so. So these properties is the observable properties of bricks or rock. Okay, yeah. Maximum three words only. Okay, good. Go practice in. Practice in. Is it solid? Yes. Yeah, good. What else? Uh, flexible. Flexible, okay. What about density? Density. Is plastic plasticine plasticine sinking in the water? Yes, right? Plasticity is sinking in the water, right? So, yes. Oh, density, density, more than one. What else? Yeah, three words, you can add extra. What else? Uh, what, what about texture? Texture. The texture? Yeah. Soft. Oh. Like that, right? Good. Go, so, wooden block. Wooden block. Yeah, of course. Solid, right? Solid. Then, yeah, hard. What else? What about wooden block? Is it floating or not? Floating, right? Is it floating? No, but maybe floating. Yeah. Floating. So find the, the, the another physical properties. What? Wooden block. Hard. What is all right? Hard. Solid. Hard. What? Is, mm -hmm. What about color? So brown. Brown. Color. Yeah. Okay. Brown. So three. Right. Texture, uh, root, right? Root. Root texture. Right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. A white pile. Yes. Red. Card. What about color? Clarity, right? Yeah, yeah, white. But the style is white. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, already three, right? Kid of transparency. Kid of transparency. Huh? Transparent. Right. Pin. Hmm? Pin. Pin, right. Elasticity, right? Yeah. Correspondent is elastic, right? Okay. What else? Yeah. Three. Enough, right? Go. Good. On number six, number seven, and so on. Number nine and number ten, you can add any information there, right? Is it? Yes. it? Yeah. Very easy, right? Okay, so, uh, so we call this one physical properties of matter. So that's the des description of matter. Okay, based on the physical properties. Very easy to describe, right? Okay, go to the next. going to talk about atom right atom okay for the description first for the atom structure you know this is the nucleus right nucleus so what is a okay we're going to write properties of atom here hmm. okay what is a a is no problem. B is one proton. Alright. What is D? D is D is mm -hmm. atom four, right? Atom four or nucleus. Yeah. In the atom four or nucleus consists of here. These are proton and neutron. Yeah, proton and neutron right here. Good, right? What about C? Okay. C is electron here. Yeah, electron. Electron. And this one is orbit. Yeah, orbit. Orbit or south. And one. It's orbit. Good. So, electron lies on orbit, right? Electron has negative charge. Negative charge. Mm. The charge. Yeah, electron has negative charge. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to give you an example how to write uh, the atomic number. Okay, for example, if... Uh, example is sodium. You know sodium? Sodium. Natrium, sodium. Yeah, but there is three. Okay, that's an example. So sodium, 11 is... 11, that's the indicators of proton or electron. That's indicator of proton or electron. So, 11 in form of... Number of electron, electron or number of proton. Okay, eleven is atomic number. Again, eleven is atomic number. Again, eleven is atomic number. Atomic number. Atomic number. 
And for three, related to this one, is mass number. Okay, mass number. So for sodium 1123, sodium 1123, sodium 1123, okay. We can have any information from this sodium. Proton is 11. Electron is 11. But neutron is 23 minus 11. We got 12. Clear? Yeah. For the natural atom, proton is 11. This one, this atomic number. It's the same. Okay. But neutron is a atomic number. Clear? Okay? So we can describe X, A, and this one is uh, M. A is atomic number, atomic number, and M is mass number. Clear? Clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to the question. Okay. Go to the question. Okay. What have the same mass of neutron? Neutron is here, right? This one is neutron. Is it? Have the same mass of neutron. Proton. Clear. Yes. Okay. Have a positive electric charge. Proton, right? The positive proton. Have the smallest mass. Electron. Electron. Have the smallest mass than proton and neutron. Okay, so the electrons have the smallest mass around 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 31. Ooh, very small, right? Around this one, 167 times 10 power minus 31 kilograms. Very small. Okay. Or 10 to the power minus 4 mu, like that. Okay, very small. Okay. So when you when you when you see this diagram, okay, this atomic diagram, electron is very small, right? Very small, right? Okay. Okay. Go. Have negative electric charge. Electron, right? Negative. A phone in the center of atom. Center, this is center, right? Remember, this is the center. Center, right? Center. So, in the center, there are proton and neutron. Is it? Is it? Go. Next. Has no electrical third neutron, right? No electrical. So, that's why I would use zero here, right? Zero. <laughs> neutron is zero time. Yeah. Next are found in the same numbers as the electron means number of electrons equal to the number of protons right so that's why based on the sodium 11 is it now we can take any information proton is 11 electron is 11 right same great so that's why this information uh what is it the same numbers as the electron right then are found in the nucleus and found in the nucleus atom for nucleus yeah nucleus consists of proton and neutron here yeah. okay deal yeah. Yeah. are found in the same numbers of proton electron okay this is the first is this one is the first then go are found in the different cells what is the different cell this one you can you can cell you can find cell cell right cell Orbit, okay, so orbit, okay, are found in different cells around the nucleus, around the nucleus, okay, but in the cell, what is it? Electron, right? Yeah. Electrons rotate to the nucleus, okay, electron is moving, electron is rotating the, the nucleus, is it clear? Okay, electron is moving, rotating, but proton and neutron is stationary position. Okay, clear everyone? 
Okay, go. Uh, the atomic number tells you how many there are. Atomic number, this one, atomic number, oh, so this one, atomic number, this one, atomic number, inform us about number, proton, and electron, right? Yeah. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Number of proton equal to number of electron, correct? Then equal, right? For the neutral atom, okay? Next, the mass number, the mass number is used to calculate how many there are. The mass number is used to calculate how many there are. What is it? Proton and then neutron. Okay, mass number includes proton and neutron. to give you extra example about atomic number. Uh, okay, I want to clear this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, for example, I have calcium. Calcium 20 and 40. Okay. So 20 is what the information of 20? The information 20 in four uh, about atomic number, right? Atomic number. What about 40? Mass number. Right? Mass number. Good. Okay. Uh, how many proton? Proton is twenty. Okay, I want to change the proton. Okay, number of proton is one, right? Yeah. Okay. What about number of electron? Right? Same, right? Okay. okay. So what about number of neutron? Neutron is different. Right? For C one. Minus one. Mm. Equal 20. 20. Right? Yeah. 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 So when we draw uh, on the description, the simple description, like this. This is four. Right? Okay. Mm. This here is proton and neutron. Okay, we have proton. How many proton here? 20, right? 20 proton and 20 neutron, right? And there, there are many cells here. Okay, so one. Two. This is the orbit, right? Orbit. Okay? This is the orbit. Okay, how many electrons? Here is two electrons here. And for the second cell is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then for the third cell, there are how many? Eight. Eight again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, how many electrons now? 2 plus 8 plus 8. 18, right? But number of electrons is num must be 20, right? So you have to give extra sound here. Extra sound. Okay, so the rest is? Electron here. So that's why number of electron is 20. Yeah. Electron is 2. 20 electron. Right? Okay. Okay, as I informed before that this one is cell, right? Now. Okay. The first cell, the second cell, the third cell, and the fourth cell. Okay. So for calcium 24 C. Consists of four cells, four cells, right? One, two, three, four. And this one is four, right? This is four. Okay, this is a nucleus, right? How do you know that number of electrons in every single orbit here? How you know that? Oh, there is a formula, okay? The formula is to n square. Yeah. For the first cell, Maximum electron is two times one square, two electron. For the second cell, yeah, for the second cell, the maximum electron is two times two square, two eight. For the third cell, maximum is two times three square, is eighteen. That's maximum, okay? Okay. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any question? No. No, to clear. So, where is the position of electron? Electron is rotating nucleus. Okay, electron lies on orbit. Okay, clear. Electron is rotating, moving, but proton and neutron in the core. Okay, stationary or state position. Okay, stationary position. Clear, Mandy? Yeah. Okay. Any, any question? No. No, okay, I want to break. Okay, after this, we go to our class, right? Thank you very much.